Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Batty Overwatch League, a week six, game three, where we have Walmy Maybe versus Mad Cow. And here to cast for your listening and viewing pleasure is myself, Utek, and the sexiest man alive, sexier than George Clooney himself, Albino Joe, or just Joey. How's it going, Joey? Hassan, dude. It's going pretty good, man. We're about to uh, cast this game, Walmy Maybe. Walmy Maybe and Mad Cow Disease, where Walmy Maybe has a lot to prove in this match. If they can show up and take a map, I, I, I'll I, eat my shorts. Uh, especially from what we saw them doing last week, they had the, uh, the Torb Fight Club, that, which was a big, big success, if you ask me. I mean, Batmel was the queen of the Torb. But the king, king of the Torb, basically she grew a beard afterwards. Um, she is more manly than anyone else on that team. Uh, and <laughs> pretty much they are going to wait. What's 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 tree? Is tree part of all? Tree, is tree part of Walmy maybe? Yeah. Yep. Him. Uh, yeah. That's the Walmy maybe crew. Phoenix Blaze. I do not know. Oh wait, no, they don't have no wonder. Yeah, they are missing No Wonder. Huh. Where they, did he go? What? What? That, that is their highest rated player, so No Wonder, one of their big top DPS players. I, I hope I hope we get to see some memes, because I feel like they're having so much more fun playing with the cheese. Uh, and But, you know, who knows? Maybe the key to winning the game is not having No Wonder. Maybe he was holding them back. This is like this is like gonna be, I don't know, man. Cause yeah, no wonder is is their top rated player. He is you know supposedly the brains and the brawn and whatever else you want to call it to the team. I don't know exactly how that whole team dynamic works, uh, you know, between Sam and Scotch and you know Batmel. I don't know how much Blab pitches in. I don't know how much Tree pitches in. But you know, no wonder he plays in like semi competitive settings you know, on a regular basis, right? Yeah, so I'm wondering if he has a scheduling sorry, sorry, uh, conflict uh, that might be I should be say causing... professional, sorry. Semi-professional. Yeah. Semi-professional. I mean, I believe he is on a Tier 3 team, I think. Don't Something quote me like on that. that. Open division, and, you know, he's an important guy, apparently. You know, just loving to play... Uh, uh, just to play DPS. I mean, I I guess if if I if I hated myself enough too, I would probably play uh, Open Division over Batty Overwatch League game, but I don't, and so I'd much rather play something a bit more fun, and uh, you know, just uh, not be so Five, tryhard. Four, three, yeah, well, two, well, me maybe on one. the defense here, pretty standard. I mean, kind of standard defense. They got the May there from Blab. That's one of his uh. His good pocket picks, if you want to even call it that. And then, the, you know, the standard crew around him. Sam on that Widow is going to be really important to find that pick. Couldn't quite get TV down at the start here. And Destructive and Winston. Ah, that crystallized jumping through the gate. Starting the mayhem. Man, yeah, we're doing a great job blocking off everybody from the choke. But they're going to be able to get on there. Uh, they weren't able to really deal with anyone in the high ground, but we were uh, getting saved by the bubble as they continue on. But Batmel, uh, having her buddy Scotch there to start swinging away, but they're coming in one at a time. Suzuki B is getting a great res off, but going to be punished for it. As Walby Baby is actually doing a fantastic job on defense. This is dive coming out of uh, Mad Cow Disease, uh, not as effective as once what was thought. Yeah, man. Defense holds. Well, me maybe. Got the May. Got the wall. And they're doing it maybe. Or not. Whoa, where was that fight? Yeah, so I guess we are finding uh, some success with uh, No Wonder just not being there. So uh, he, he's, he was the best bench player all around. Shit, I guess so. Well, hey, they're, uh, uh, Mad Cow Disease is on point now. Hammer down coming out of massive first shadow out of Scotch, finding all sorts of people, and uh, a lot of damage going down. Very, very easy hold here. Sam's the only one to go down for Walmy, maybe, and boom, shaka laka. Tree's rallying up in the front by himself. Come on, team, you got follow up on that. And 
a great defense already coming out. Scotch already got his uh, shatter, so already coming 25% onto it. Batmel almost with the grab, but Mad Cow Disease looking to get that combo. Uh, Crystallize not getting too much, or they did change off the, the dive, but, ooh, but we're getting a nice wall just trying to uh, rake great it in. Wall. Already getting Huckleton out of the fight, doing a great job. Tree just showing his big dick to the to Mad Cow Disease. You can't infect this. It's already got something worse, and I'm gonna swing it at you. Yeah, this is great, and and also to note, just in general, oh, TV getting picked on the right side there from Tree. Tree on that Brigida. Yeah, he's been playing that DPS role. He's the projectile champion that we all like to talk up and everything. But man, his Brigida is on point this this game, and I. I think that's a massive point. We got Blab on his comfort pick. We got Tree on Brigida. Scotch is hitting good Earth Shatters. While me, maybe he's just looking very clean right now without no wonder. Yeah. Uh, if they if they 3 0, like, that's. What what does that mean? Oh, the big crap. Take out Scott. Scott. No one's able to actually go in, but Evo like coming in from behind, able to get Tree down as they're continuing on. And it looks like that cow disease with the man advantage are gonna continue to push this. They are gonna hold as much as they can as they continue on. Batmel hold on for just a few more seconds as the bad cow disease gets the point. But they will take the calculation player from who are coming in, unable to just uh, hold on and stall for just a little bit longer. Sam is going to try to get see if she can maybe get a pick. I don't know. Just a few more seconds, but it's, it could be a little, no, little ballsy. Well, maybe. Scotch, Scotch nice run for your life. You are out there, bud. Yeah, and hey, you know, good on uh, Blaboor there, getting the uh, Reinhardt Earth Shatter out of Destructive Dude that he ended up missing, which it wasn't even ne really necessary. Yeah, make and stall for a little bit, but I think they're gonna they're gonna be able to take that point no matter what. And yeah. Destructive Thought of their Hammer Down is gonna be pretty big for this next fight. Yeah, so they do have Crystallize with the Graviton Surge. It's gonna be a huge thing for playmaking. Gonna Huckletoon pressing the armor, giving them the speed to the And a big grab coming in, but not Bye, much Kazuki. Got you yeah. taking out Kazuki, but Mad Cow Disease answering, taking out Phoenix Plays, and Batmount being able to take Manage Vanish on the point. Scotch, the only one left, he is half HP. He's gonna hold on as long as he can. Two ticks being guaranteed for oh, Mad no, Cow Disease. Tree, Lab. get there in time. He doesn't get the freeze right away, but is able to wall him off with the main wall as they're gonna take you on the fight. A big dragon coming in, Scotch is gonna be able to run out of the way, and a blizzard coming in. Hopefully this can use at the point as Huckletoon goes down, but from the charge of the Reinhardt, as it continues on with the fight, Crystallize looking for some pleasure, pressure, helping out Destructive Dude, and a big slam getting Scotch and Flapur, but unable to follow it up. Crystallize being the last one, high charge Zarya, getting that play frozen, Icicle to the face, and it looks like we have about an 80% uh, capture already taken with one piece of the pie left to go. Holy shit. Blab kept his team in the fight there. Yeah, Tree was coming out of the spawn. He was going to be able to get to the point maybe in time. But Blab getting on point is, is that May putting up the wall, getting four of his teammates protected, and then giving him enough time with that blizzard to get everyone on point as the, the whole entire team of Mad Cow Disease had to get off it. Like, yeah, Blab is MVP right now on this main. I don't know why they would ever switch him off that. Uh, and e Evo Light looking like he's going to get that high noon soon. He's going to be on the high ground looking for a big play. But Tiki also taking the flank, trying to save him. Get Blabur. Going to be able to ice wall, make sure that he stays alive for a little longer as enemy team of Mad Cow Disease swarms around him. He's going to try to get away. A big high noon coming in, but the shield going to try to block everything. It's Sam able to get a great pick on the Evo Light. Great pick on the Evo Light. He's the first to fall right now. Mad Cow Disease proceeds to push, but. The commitment of the alls comes out of Blommy maybe as they do finish off Huckletoon Destructive and Crystallize with the TV Junkie on the high ground. Shooting arrows at the team, but he's not going to really get much if he does get a pick. Oh well, Blab chased him off the high ground says, nah man, this is our Hanamura castle. Get the fuck out. Hell yeah, my dude. As we continue on for another minute and a half of defense for Blommy maybe. Doing a lot better than anyone thought they were going to do, especially without No Wonder. But let's talk about Sam. Sam is popping off on these fights. She has been getting so many picks as Widow and now playing the Hanzo, doing a great job. They have the dragons.
but will have to worry about the grab dragon combo of Mad Cow Disease. They yeah, might this... want to. Oh, TV falls right away. This ultimate yeah. range is very screwy here, but it doesn't even matter. The whole entire fight, Mad Cow Disease is collapsing here as they're committing alts. Why is Mal Malmi maybe still committing alts here? Uh, the, the, the freeze gets extra people that they didn't necessarily need to get. Crystallized Destructive fall as well here at the end of the fight. And, uh, yeah. They're yeah, the... pressing panic. Those are panic panic keys. Panic keys, Joey. Yeah, now now ult advantage is in I mean Kazuki late pick there, but uh ult advantage is in kind of favor of Mad Cow right now. I mean destructive's all out of the Winston's whatever. The dragons can be massive, whether it's zoning or killing, and destructive dies not he doesn't hit what? Alright, not this uh... bad play of the game. He Thank missed the ledge, he me. sucks. Destructive, you're kicked out of the league for being too bad. You're too bad for the baddie Overwatch League. Get out! Uh, can we can we get a commissioner in here? That's uh, we need we need that verified notarized. Zedicus, unseen. Zedicus, please. Or at least immortalize it in the bad plays. Uh, we did want to say I do want to say though that uh, as they're fight though in the fight, the fight is going to be they do not have the grab that they had before. But a great cheddar coming out of Scott, and they are going to continue to put alt after alt after alt. But very, very much looking like the advantage. Evil like coming in with the tire, can he get someone? Unable to get anyone as the bubble comes with Bat Mel. Making sure Evil Light, the uh, Evil Light, uh, Crystallize, and Destructive Dude being the last three people up, but it's gonna be a little hard. Ooh, the dragon's coming in! Oh, no way! Oh, Scott, you gotta get Destructive Viewer off, and he does overtime, but Destructive jumps back on, stalling the point as five members of Walmy maybe are on this now. Destructive Dude nanoed out of Kazuki as well, and they kinda C9, whatever you wanna call that. I don't they think they're gonna be able to cap that. They got, they got pushed off the card, and it was a great push done by Walmy maybe. But this, you know what this means, Joey. You wanna know what this means. This is a 2 CP, which means anything can happen. You can easily cap two points from sheer dumb luck. Walmy maybe's gonna win this, boys! Let's do it! All right, let's. God, it's happening! It's happening, Joey! It's happening. The three zero from Walmy, baby. I mean, it. Don't jinx them. Don't jinx them with the three zero. Start small. They're gonna win this map. Let's start small. So, let let's let's look at the team here. So, Batmel, Clutch Bubbles saved fucking. I think it was Scotch not from a tire. All right, team's got. She's got the team's back. Right, Scotch. The fucking f flanking Reinhardt in that last fight. She was able to find Kazuki and not necessarily get the pin, but she definitely died because of the Reinhardt ult. That's a healer down. That's big. Scotch is able to do... He's got the teams back. As you said, Sam, as I said, Blab, both of them popping off like no wonder. Oh, wait. No, not like no wonder. No wonder's not in this match. Ah, uh, no, but Tree and Phoenix Blaze, the sub, the, the dark horse coming in all of this. This is the golden team. Walmy maybe figured out their comp, and we know what we're gonna see in the finals when Walmy maybe gets there. <laughs> yes, because we need to stop Attack talking about no wonder incoming. because this is the Thank Sam Scotch Batmobile Lure Tree and Phoenix Blaze show. The with their powers combined, they are better than any other team. And you know what? You know what? It looks like they're having a lot of fun. But look at this TV junkie! Look at him with that glowing arm. He is playing the Doomfist, and he is ready to go start the circle jerk on the other team with that big old fist. Gonna be a little sneaky and trying to play uh, in the background. Yeah, not to mention Evil on that Reaper as well. Two two very big comfort picks from each of those players. We're, I don't know. We'll see how this attack uh, how this attack fares, especially with Bladstein on that May. The wall comes in. They're going into that side room, sneaking in. Destructive trying to chase him. Finds a pin. Phoenix plays dies. Scott's taking out Destructive dude. Sam's taking out a TV junkie. But it's oh okay because the ma the Widow Mine is going to take him out again. But uh, spawn advantage going over to Sam. But there's still a brawl going out. But Destructive dude able to capitalize more than the enemy team. Batmel uh, he farmed a little bit for charge on the side of uh mad cow disease destructive dude doing a great job just being able to get uh hit after hit a uh, sam not being too effective in that fight Hello. being taken out on the oh, one v one v one from the doom fist but uh mission accomplished if you ask me 
fight toe to toe, you yeah. power. As the second attack comes in, the Scotch swinging away, not putting up the shield. But Glad has the shield, and the hammer down comes finally finds destructive. The charge does not find anyone out of Scotch. He doesn't end up falling right away, but the team's fight is still continuing. Rallies are popped on both sides. Alts are committed, and Batmel is the next to fall. There's no front line left for Wami Navy, and uh, yeah, the push is over. Yeah, I think I think Sam is not finding as much uh, use as she wants to, especially on the Widow. She might want to switch over to that Hanzo. She was finding a little bit more uh, uh, securing of kills with the Hanzo, especially on that second point defense. God, TV is so in. Holy shit, he was literally at your spawn gate. Oh, that's rough to watch. Let's see if they can... Yeah, and Mel, while me maybe, he's gonna go again as they just beat on. They're gonna get more hacks. They'll probably spout out the Doomfist in the background. But see, oh, they have have a great job. I'm going for the Doomfist. And a big grab. Out evil light. Matter because they're able to keep uh, killing everybody else instead. Sam not able to get a single pick. This brawl Why is, is she just too get heavy. Out? <laughs> she needs to switch off that widow. She's not getting any picks. This is a looking very, very, very bad for Walmy. Maybe they need to make some sort of change. Tree switch over to the Pharah. Do we, I think this this might help them out, especially since they don't have anything to deal with the high ground. Yeah, it's a big roll swap. Tree on the DPS now, that projectile champion, as we said earlier in the fight here. TV Junkie in the back line still. No one is able to do a single thing about him, but Blatt finally freezes up with the bubble save. Oh my god! Crystallized with the saving bubble, and he's able to get out. Oh, what a miss! What is happening, you tech? Oh, Holy shit! Alright, we have to say that Destructive was just being. Ryan. No one knew that he was there, and he had his ult ready, and when he saw them, he got four. Man, TV balls deep, Destructive is able to take advantage of that and get into the trollsy, what, whatever, the, the troll hut. He's sitting in the troll hut, and he earth shatters from the troll hut. Normally you just charge from the troll hut, he earth shattered from the troll hut. But there are combos that uh, they do have on one. Maybe they're gonna have at least one more, one more pick, and they're gonna do with a nice grab. See if they can follow up with any damage. Is they're gonna try to freeze on that Scott using all the lore, seeing if they can get at least one pick. Unable to get one thing, but now they're finally able to get the picks. Three people down. Destructive two, two tanks as also crystallized and constructive dude getting revived allowing them to keep one more person he's gonna try to charge it people like die, 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 die. coming out and he's gonna continue to pelt everybody with his shotgun sam coming in for the rebuttal as they are gonna be able to get a great weight may well as it's gonna be able to give them four minutes so it's gonna see if she can pull a checkers and also pull out her pistol um yeah. She ain't dying. Why she isn't she dying? dying? She, Why isn't she, she dying? dying? Why isn't anyone dying? This is a, a great opportunity because they can definitely stagger everybody else who is already staggers. here. They need to do what they can to push this point, and they have man advantage and ults. TV Junkie does have his slam, but Huckletoon is going to have They need to force Huckletoon to use the armor as they're going to continue on scotch having a very bulky charge unable to connect with anyone as they continue oh on with this fight scotch God. is going very much in but destructive dude unable to connect with anyone on that dude just big off of tree but tree falls he's not able to get anyone the grab comes in and this whole time only baby offense is falling apart here scotch dead tree dead bad now fighting on point with blabour to the side and also dead bad now and phoenix plays the last two and this is the end of the push you take that was utter insanity oh my god that was that was very interesting once they got into that brawl i don't think anyone knew who they were really trying to go for that late pick on kazuki beans was so big and, and once they hit point kazuki was coming out of spawn so they needed to get the pick like another pick or two after like right before they actually hit the spawn and they didn't, but oh my gosh, that could have been an amazing push. Well, I mean, maybe. Good play, though. Yeah. But they are finding a lot of success with the Reaper Doomfist combo. They don't even have to worry. Like, they're just, they're just going to be able to do whatever they want. But those TPS are in the high ground. 
but a pick coming out of Evil Light, maybe they can crowd out to make sure that uh, keeps it being just now and get the ball. And two ults coming out, able to really go out anyone, but Sam getting uh, caught out on the slant right now. TP doing a very good job, but his team is going down as everyone on Wall Me Baby is able to stay alive as they're going to be able to. They might be able to. Kazuki's res out of death But even though if there's the res, they are still taking out everybody as they are continuing to focus that destructive focus, hunting to and see if they can get. They're not even able to take him out yet! See if Team Chucky is able to get anyone. They're able to push people out of the way. Oh, and a big charge on the TV Chucky. Oh, yeah. Unable to kill him! Wow, he's he being able to stay alive! Oh man, this whole entire team. Wally Baby is looking so hot right now. Blab with the wall from the spawn. Evil Eye down from Blab. Scotch eventually falls for Wally Baby. Not a very good sign for them on this tech. They're able to get pick after pick, but it's second after second. They're not able to kill all these people all at once. TV Junkie in the air, shooting people, fighting, destructive. The next to fall for the team, but he's going to probably spawn before they actually. Cap, hug him to the last one contesting, and that's it! They capped the pull! Wall Baby did it! They did it! Oh my god! One! First win of the series! Holy shit! Wall Me Baby blabs May is the secret! Play of the game. Oh, Crystallize is the one with the play of the game from Mad Cow Disease. What does he do? He's got a sick ass grab! That's what he did, man. Sick ass kill. grab! Look at that. Kill. Would you just look at it? Would you just look at it? Uh, a great consolation prize, but let's talk about the win from Walmi maybe and their potential 3-0 that is actually happening. And we are actually getting reports that uh, no wonder did Betch himself was confirmed and that uh, he was the problem. He has confirmed it himself. Is that from Twitch chat? I see it. I see it. It is man. indeed. Someone screenshot that because that is gonna that needs to be immortalized. It's not gonna age well when he's in the uh you know, actual Overwatch League. Yeah. Uh no wonder. I'm gonna ask you right now, please uh sign my uh my jersey of yours. I'll be your number one fan and um Yeah. I'll uh ride on your coattails. Anyway. As we continue on the game two, we're going down to King's Row, all the way to England, get some fish and chips, get get a nice brew at the pub. Uh, what what are we going to be seeing out of these uh, out of these teams here, Joey? I have no clue anymore. I mean, well, me maybe again. Just each each player played cohesively. Everyone had each other's backs with that. Phoenix plays on that mercy was showing up too. I mean, their their bench player who should be their weakest link was dropping crazy amounts of heals for the rest of the team. And that that swap, you know, putting Sam onto the I think Brig is what she was playing and Tree onto that fair at now, the end was Andrew, just just genius. Know. And it's it's so weird to see this team work as a cohesive unit without, you know, the star players, supposedly. And it's... It, it, uh, to, to, to put it short, you take I don't know what to expect anymore from the series. Here, here's, here's what I've learned. If one person does stupid, it's a mistake. If everyone does stupid, it's a strategy. It's Maybe true, they man. just needed everyone to do stupid, and it just, it just works. You gotta file in. You gotta, you gotta commit to the call. If you don't commit to the call, you're going to lose 100% of the time, right? It's Very how the true. Thing, how Very the whole entire true. thing works. But, uh, yeah, defense. I'm assuming uh, Mad Cow Disease is on the defense here. Has five seconds to pick. TV looking at that Widow. Not a Doomfist. I mean, Widow's, I guess, better on defense. Oh, no, 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 sorry. Wall Me Maybe is on the defense here. My bad. Hiya. Still yeah. a Widow, Hi. Still a widow coming out of Sam. She was able to get so many picks, but uh, on the defense before on Hanamura, but not so much on the offense. To see if she is able to get as uh, be as effective as she was before, as I already have the hiccups. Can I bail you out when you get into trouble? Dude, hiccups are welcome, man. This team, Attackers though, I mean, standard from what they're playing on Hanamura on the defense at the start. Tree on that Brig, Sam on the Widow, Blab, the the linchpin or whatever you want to call it of the team on the May for Wami maybe you need it. You can't have you can't not have it. 
How, has he been playing May for like his other games and stuff? I mean, we all he know He was playing that. Tank, wasn't he? I think he was playing Tank, but Five, a lot of May. Two, um, three, two, oh, a lot of stuff one. out there, you know? Attackers it's just all over the place. But now he's. Uh, I want him on full time May, man. That's going to be the only key to their victory. TV Junkie, though, on the uh, offense here out of Mad Cow Disease, playing that Widow, not that Doomfist. Evelite on the Pharah, so they're going for the long distance strat, which is gonna favor Sam's Widow a lot more than normal, but not necessarily Blab's May. But hey, you know what? We're gonna see what happens, because this is the Batty Overwatch League, and the fight is breaking out right now. It's Hotel is uh, is the location that the fight's gonna occur. You tech, what's gonna happen? Well, TV Junkie getting a great position out in front, being able to take out King's Blaze, being able to take out anyone else in his slime society, Sam not being able to win the Widow duel. And, uh, that's, that's a fight. That's a fight. <laughs> that's, that's definitely gonna give them the point, and they're gonna have uh, more than three minutes. They're gonna have at least uh, four and a half minutes to keep pushing. But they do, they should be able to get the short spawn, so they should be able to uh, contest on the first corner here. Stop the payload. At least through the archway, and if not through the archway, this, uh, this, the corner after the archway. Whatever you want to call it here, but uh, yeah, driver's seat definitely going to Mad Cow Disease here as they are brutally attacking this point and uh, doing it with success. We jinxed it, Utech. Ah, uh, we jinxed it indeed. But Blabur, oh, and a pick already coming out. Blabur taking out TV already. What a great icicle as they're going to continue on with this fight. They are in, and a blizzard coming out is getting at least two people. Both tanks are getting taken out. And a hammer down coming out of Scotch. A little unneeded. They already had so many people. The front line being frozen. They could have at least won that, but that doesn't matter because they're going to be able to win this fight as they're going to continue damaging people. Crystallize getting frozen out. The May being a lot more effective than one would think. Yeah, I mean, that, that, that all out of scotch, a little, you know, unnecessary. I don't even think he caught anyone that needed to be caught, but, you know, there's been worse alt combinations from uh, from other teams. Yeah. And we're seeing the switch. He's like going over onto the Pharah. You know, he does a very good job doing the Pharah. Knows when to ult and get great combos coming out. Crystallize looking at 75% to that grab down surge. Lavor getting caught out a little early. That is one big piece of their combination. That is a lot of CC coming out of them. But they are getting a little bit staggered. Two down already as they're going to be going into a 4v6 fight. Continuing on, Sam taking out TV Junkie, doing a great job, but going to get revived. Batmel going into a 3v6 fight as they continue on with this, and this should be the second point easily for them. They need to get out of there and try to get for a third point defense. Yeah, I was going to say, as soon as the, the picks the picks keep going, the picks kept rolling for Walmi maybe, or uh, on Walmi maybe. That was not necessarily going to be for them. You know, hold for them from the point of the bookstore until the, the cap there. Uh, definitely unfortunate. They should have just all tried to just go in there, die as a team, and then get another defense uh, going on. But just kind of. Uh, picks are continuing, did, man. Yeah, did, did you grab? Yeah, big grab. Big grab. Big grab. They're going to continue on. Evil like it. 4K coming out with the damage boost. TV Junkie finishing off his blade, no making sure that there's only one person left on there. And going to get those wall hacks to see who, which doorway they are coming from so they know where to contest. So TV is the only one in the Graviton Surge. Uh, a little bit of a panic cue. Oh, there we are. The freeze is on point. Lab is able to contest. And we got Phoenix Blaze there on the Moira as well and Tree. They all back out. And Destructor Dude drops the hammer, finding Lab and Tree. And they both. Not tree. Okay, one of them falls, and the fight continues here as Matt Cow Disease is aggressively pushing this point. They are not. Uh, Wami Baby is not able to defend it very successfully. Char uh, Scotch last one charge on the point dies. Point cap goes to Mad Cow. Yeah, and a great job coming out of Mad Cow Disease. Definitely flexing their muscles, knowing that as this isn't two CP. They know if they can win a fight, they'll win a fight and continue to go. And a great combos and great discipline coming out of Crystallize and Evil Light. You know, basically giving that alley you play, giving them uh, a solid almost four minutes for another push if they go into overtime. And we're gonna see how well Walmi maybe can do in this. But I have a lot of faith in them. I want to see them go. I want to see them go all the way. 
Uh, give me a Pog Champ in chat if you want to see Walmy Baby go all the way. Pog Champ, who doesn't? They're like they're the underdogs, and fucking Mad Cow Disease is like the top dogs. You know, this is David and Goliath, man. You want David to win? Who wants Goliath to win? Nobody. No one. No one wants Goliath. Win. We we did want I, we want the underdog. Yeah. Did no, I just, Dave, Dave, did, you said did it right. I, I I did say it right, but I just realized that's like a, that's like a Bible story thing, isn't it? Yeah. Oh shit, man. I never would have thought I would bust that out in a baddie Overwatch League. <laughs> Dude, there's the like game. a lot of Bible references everywhere. I mean, look look at everything. Uh, you got Adam and Eve, like. We could even jelly in, uh, a bunch of, of sci-fi shit, kills. a lot of stuff. That day, I like sci-fi shit. I felt alive. Sci-fi shit's fun. But hey, Hell yeah. this defense, mad cow disease, standard. This is what they attacked with. Uh, yeah, this is exactly what they attacked with, I believe. Yeah, gonna gonna be doing the same thing with Walmy, maybe. Uh, they're gonna be going with the triple tank. Scotch on the Rhine, Batman on the Zarya, before on the Diva. As well as Sam, uh, following up with damage uh, on. I don't know if I like that. No, I actually kind of like this because you have the shield break coming out of the Hanzo, and then you have uh, the healing potential out of Phoenix Blaze, and you're basically playing like a semi goats, but uh, they're the semi goats. But you need that speed, man. You need the speed. That's if you're getting the rush down, but we're seeing that a lot of these teams aren't able to utilize that speed very well and know how to really focus down someone. So maybe if they just play to the brawl that they want to play on. Scotch already charging out, being alone, but getting a counter charge and taking out everybody else. And so maybe you were right all along and they needed that speed. Yeah, brick by brick, they come falling down. Tree was the first one to get picked there. And uh, yeah, it just all fell apart very quickly after Scotch charged in. And yeah, I mean, that speed is really important for the team like you gotta be able to kind of swarm get around that Ryan shield and attack who you need to attack once you're facing that giant rectangle to the face there's not a hell of a lot you could do so that speed is going to be important but Sam switching off going on to Sombra as opposed to the hands that she was on before we'll see if this gives him any more luck yeah and all the structure dude already almost has his Earth Shatter, so that is going to be huge in this me. upcoming fight. He's going to be able to swing away a little bit. Already 88% hitting those fire strikes. So crucial when you play Ryan. Uh, unable to get it, but Scotch able to follow big. up still with swings. He's going to continue to try to get oh, to that high ground. Oh, a big slam coming out of Destructive, but already getting taken out before he can really do anything else. And a justice from above. above. Unable to get anyone this as Kazuki is being the only one and gets hacked out of the sky. And actually, Sam getting a lot of value out of the Sombra. Excellent play from Walmy, maybe. They just divided, conquered, take, took people down one by one, and even, Objective I believe lost. that was Destructive Dude who did his Stop Earth Shatter and wasn't able to really find much with it. He did find two people, but there's no one left to follow him up on it. And that was the fight. Walmy made a cap. Yeah, especially. And, you know, looking at Twitch chat, uh, I only see one Pog champ because, as we all know, Josh Dango is the real MVP. Of everything. So shout out to Josh Danko. Uh, you are the one and true only fan that is actually watching the Batty Overwatch League. Oh, the big shadow coming out of the sky! Suki Beans, that is one less healer as they are gonna be getting taken out for his sacrifice. Can his team follow up? The TV Junkie using the Dragon Strike to make sure that nobody else is able to follow up as they continue on with this fight, but no one able to do anything. The defense of Mag Cow Disease holding strong. Scotch is Noble Sacrifice coming right in, but gonna be not able to do anything else. Mag Cow Disease just having a lot more effect efficiency being able to aim and click at the heads a lot better than Walmy maybe, and better luck next time. But they are gonna be able to go again! Yeah man, three and a half minutes, this is gonna be a long push to the second point. Walmy maybe has plenty of time to get it, but hey, to match that 351 that Mad Cow Disease has, we gotta pick up the pace here. Winston, on the flank, stuck the dude, doing his thing as he does. Scott trying to defend his team, rectangle. Oh, big, big hack from Sam, they have to go in now, the Diva Bomb flies in, is able to find Crystal as a TV, that's pretty much a team wipe, Destruct the dude is the last one up, he's mad monkey, but he's dead, fuck it. Good job, Walmy, maybe. Hey! Now, let's doing a great job they can push forward here but they need at least one person on the cart come on phoenix plays oh! it do it's your boy what it do 
but they definitely want Phoenix Blaze up in front because that is their healing. They're not going to have any healing. Okay, the three the front line here is the Moira all comes out as Phoenix Blaze, as you were saying. And the red coming in, the enemy team, Mad Cow, to see It's their fight to win here. They eventually find the two tanks. TV is picked out in the process from the Moira Coalescence, but the res comes out. He is no longer picked. Tree's dead. This is a lost fight for Wami, maybe, but hell of a push to get there in the first place. Yeah, definitely some uh, miscommunication or just misunderstanding of who needs to stay on the cart. A good job of pushing it forward, but that that uh, being off the cart for those few seconds is way too crucial for when the enemy team, uh, Mad Cow Disease, is able to, to uh, get back on. All right, alt advantage. Kind of going in the favor of Mad Cow Disease right now. Destructive dude getting the grill. Hanzo all coming from behind out of TV Junk. You don't know how the hell he got there. I saw a very cheeky play where they're on the high ground back and they're able to divide and conquer. Just straight up wreck. Two alts committed to that fight. TV Junkie at 30% for another one. And uh, Wami maybe hopefully looking to rally their own alts as uh, Rally is the only one that's on the team on Mad Cow Disease team. They see Destructive Dude trying to be a hidden monkey. Oh, but Sketch almost getting the charge, getting blocked by that corner. Let's see if they can push up a little bit forward as they continue on with this fight. They do have a minute, uh, about a minute left, but they're going to be able to definitely play a little bit forward, more forward than they want to. The monkey going in the background, but Evil Light also finding his way back forward. Uh, back in the back line. Oh. Getting taken out man. as he is able to not do too much. Batmel being a one man army against oh, everyone in the back line. They're going to be able to yeah, resurrect Huckle. TV does it again! Oh, yeah, getting so many. Oh, so many Dragon Strikes. Scotch is going to try to uh, take out Huckle with his hammer. Maybe he's going to be able to do it. And an ult coming out. But uh, not too effective as the bubble is able to block it. But they have the advantage. And they're going to try to hold on as Evil Life might try to uh, contest, but Destructive Dude gonna be coming in and seeing if he can do whatever he can to hold on to it. Uh, 23 seconds left. And to continue on, the rest of Wami may be able to stay on. And he, as you said, two big picks, three big picks. Everyone going down on the side of Wami, maybe. There's gonna be a res coming in sneakily. Destructive Dude getting brought back up as a monkey is going to be uh, very good, but Evil Light ragdolling up onto the rafters as they're going oh, no. to this fight. Oh uh, no, they're in overtime. What? What was that? Oh, no. Uh, uh, no. Uh, Batmel, a little bit of a fat finger on them, but, but it still, doesn't matter. We didn't see it. We didn't see it. It's okay. There's a minute and 30 seconds left on this fight. Uh, they want to try to do this dry push to try to bait out those ults and get that uh, second fight going. Yeah, amazing. So that was a really drawn out way to cap that point. Walmy Navy was able to do pick after pick, and uh, you know, Kazuki got destructive back. Destructive had the all. He was, he was healed the whole, the whole entire time he was doing that. That was a big thing. Scotch. Okay, so this current fight, Scotch hammers down, earth shatters, doesn't find a single soul. Then the hack comes in, and then the bomb comes in, fighting two healers. Oh dear God, but the TV junkie all finds Sam. That Mel falls to TV again as well. TV, the one man show here, but it doesn't matter. Three people on Walmy, maybe you're on the cart. Two healers in the tank. Blab, you're not on main, man, but you're doing all sorts of work with those Diva Bombs and the Sam Alts. Very coordinated play here. Evil Light being found on the high ground here, making sure that he's busy and not necessarily in the back line killing teammates. A very not big uh, high grab coming in as Evil Light is trying to follow up on it. No one dies to either of those things. Very, very big miscommunication there. Doesn't find any kills. The fight here is not looking in favor of Wami Baby as the fight is continuing. Evil Light dies, gets red, Scotch at the front line, swinging away. No shield to be found from him, but he's not dying until just now. Evil Light also dies. Phoenix Blaze dies. Wami Maybe does not look like they could possibly win this fight at this point. As Batmel dies on the card, but Boo is on the high ground. The overtime Ringer is here. T Tree dies. Blab, you're the last one, buddy. You should have played May. TV's gonna McCree you, and the rest of the team's gonna do what they want with your body. That's the rest of the fight. And Mad Cow Disease takes the takes the game. Oh, jeez. Yeah, Mad Cow Disease definitely showing of their strength on 
this uh, King's Row, but let's see what's up. But Boor coming in on the D.Va play of the game. What did he get? Uh, charging in, getting the rockets. He has his Q available and a big EMP. And let's see him toss out that mech. And wait for it. Boom. Yeah, but he didn't play May. He did not play May. <laughs> May is Bay. I mean, hey. See, it, there's... I mean, New Tech, there's a direct correlation to number of games that Walmy maybe has won tonight and number of games Blab has played May throughout the duration of the whole entire map, right? There's a direct correlation. Direct correlation, play May, win game. Yeah. Easy. You gotta. All right. Now we're going to be going over to Australia down under where everything is upside down. Over to Junkertown. Uh, going to be playing a little bit of a longer range map, especially on point one and point two, playing a little bit more verticality in that streets phase. As we continue on, we're going to go in, into point three, playing around the tight corridors of the interior part of Junkertown. Uh, going to be interesting, interesting, uh, defense coming out of both, considering they, uh, we have Walmy maybe liking to play that May as their namesake. And Mad Cow Disease, uh, having a very, very good job TV Junkie playing that Widowmaker, but Sam is no slouch yourself. So we're going to see who's going to be able to come out on top throughout game number three of, or round number three of game three of Wheat Six of season five of the Batty Welcome Overwatch League. To Junkertown. Say that five times fast. Yeah, I don't want to. <laughs> But before Jeez. this, we are going to get our third-person opinion. And 30, if you can unmute yourself, uh, give your opinion. What What are you thinking so far in the game? Who's what they got to do to uh, to win this? Um, and uh, give us a thought. Uh, ah! Streamer strats 30. Let's do it. All right, I've broken out from the afterlife, <laughs> and I'm here to say. That Walmy maybe what? will probably lose Joker Town. No, All right, I'm out. I'm no, out. No, I'm no, no. You yourself. Get, you yourself. You get yourself. out of here. Get Go out back of to here. the afterlife. Fuck that. No. Ugh. God. Don't want to hear that ever again. No, no, I hope we don't you're still this. muted. Mute, mute him. Oh my god, mute him, stay mute in him. the afterlife. You, you <laughs> hear, need to hear that blasphemy. Because <laughs> Walry maybe voice. is going to win. Uh, as incoming. we continue on with Junkertown, uh, 20 seconds going to be coming in. Uh, we're going to be seeing a Bastion coming out of TV Junkie, so we're going to be seeing some pirate ship maybe. Or maybe this is just a troll pick. I mean, like, it works all the time on Junkertown, first point. I feel like it's so hard Five, to combat, especially four, for the first point. Three, two, and, one. I mean, the best you could do is, yeah, play, you know, Trees, Junkrat's going to be important. You know, Stop A, and Anna. Oh, hey, we got a pause in here. We got a pause. Batmel. DC. Bang the DC. Um... Apparently heard keyword fucked up, but let's take this time to pause and give a shout out to our sponsors. So one of our biggest sponsors of this entire setup is water, H2O. Uh, it can be found in a lot of places, but the most important place you can find it is in your cup. So if you can find a nice clean source of water today, put it in a cup, drink it. It's free unless you pay for it. Yeah, and uh, to, you know, people that are may, may be watching this abroad, uh, I think it's known as Agua in certain portions of the world, Vassar and others, and probably something else in, in different places. So I, I do know that in, uh, in Japanese, or Japan, they call it Mizu. Mizu? Yeah, Mizu. Huh. You could say, can I have a drink of water in Japanese? You could be more weeb than anybody else by saying, Mizu no ne mo ka. 
Oh, damn, dude. That's, like, next level. I couldn't... No. I'm not gonna remember that. <laughs> Shit, but. man. We, I mean, we got more than just water, you know? We what got, else uh, do we have, Joey? We got some other sponsors. We got Subway. I don't know if they want us to be a sponsor or not, but uh, we still sponsor them. Well, they sponsor us, don't we? Or do we sponsor them? I don't know. Things have been going a little downhill for Subway after the whole... Uh, the whole, uh, well, we're not going to talk about them. Uh, we have legal obligations. Anyway, um, we can also have our sponsor, uh, Bad Dragon. Um, they make fabulous products. We've had, we've heard firsthand experience of, uh, people using, uh, used versions of it. Uh, apparently it, uh, it works. Yeah, man. I, I heard that like nine out of 10 times it's effective. So yeah, baddragon.com. It's a cool place Bad to go. Yeah. And uh, don't don't forget um, we have uh, and also Kool Aid, a new sponsor, just coming at you right now. You can add it to water. Nah, man, that that's like a special one-time sponsor. We don't have to cover them for too long. But what we uh -huh. should cover is this team. Batmel's keyboard hopefully should be fixed or something eventually. But you know, as we were talking about before, this attack out of. Uh, you know, the offense out of Mad Cow Disease here. Evelite on the Bastion. DV on the Widow. Destructive on the Tracer. They're going solo tank with this man. What do you, what's your hot take? What's your hot take? Hmm. Hot take right now is I don't care what anyone does because Walmy maybe is going to win. And I just I just want to see I just want to see them 2-0 Mad Cow Disease. Yeah, I mean, everyone's rooting for Walmy Maybe. If you're not rooting for Walmy Maybe, you're part of the bad guys. You don't want to be yeah, part of the bad guys. It, what, are, what are you, some kind of fascist or Nazi? We can't have you do that. I mean, I, I just don't know. You're probably heartless if you're not supporting them, you know? Yeah, you're uh, or, or, or you're on Mad Cow Disease, one of the two. Or, you're, yeah, you're probably on Mad Cow Disease, you know. Looks like Table but, uh, for Four is losing their ban this yep. round. Table for Four definitely losing a ban for this as they uh gonna gonna have a harder time in the playoffs as they continue on. But uh let's let's also have a secret sponsor, um Old Nunu and Willump. <laughs> yeah. So they uh, bless their soul. Uh you don't wanna get the Yeti angry. You don't like him when he's angry. Uh, so many good years coming out of old Nunu, old Willump. It wasn't you didn't even know who Willump was. It was just Nunu. It was just a scrappy young lad who, you know, went on to into the frozen tundra and uh, befriended a Yeti, and within that friendship uh, bloomed fantastic bond and magical powers. Blood boil, throwing a throwing a, uh, a snowball at bad people and uh if you stand real still you can channel a blizzard i guess so why is he scrappy right, though i want to i want to know that why why is he so scrappy you, you kind of have to be if you're out in the frozen wastelands for far too long i mean you gotta be able to survive you may have a big uh, big ass yeti helping you out but uh you know what? It's uh, you got to be at least a little resourceful on your own. Oh man! Well, Utech, we're finally here at the restart of the game after all of our sponsors and some over League of Legends talk and all this stuff. And here we are again at Junker Town with Walmy maybe on the defense and uh, other shit on the offense. Mad cow disease, whatever. I I don't. I don't know, man. That was exhausting. That was an exhausting pause. You know what? I was not going to run out of things to say. We have <laughs> many sponsors. Uh, we have so and much shit. We can talk. <laughs> I could talk forever if need be. It's, it's not a problem, but the stuff will get stale after a while. <laughs> Um, but the technical timeout is done and over with. Our sponsorships 
have given us up because we're a little bit too risque. Not good enough for advertisements. Um, YouTube has probably demonetized us. And uh, it's an ad out here. Yeah, whatever you want to call it. But hey, 18 seconds left. While we may be playing their... Same shit that they the were playing before, as we saw, and the same stuff ideas. coming out of uh, Mad Cow Disease. Actually, not necessarily destructive. Okay, it does switch to the trade shooter. T TV Junkie was not on Symmetra, I don't think. I think he was on Widow last game, possibly. One. Cannot remember. Yeah, there it is. There's a swap. All right. We got the same cops. Same shit happening. Bastion's going to set up, and they're going to cap point one. You tech take it from here. <laughs> yeah, they're playing an interesting comp with the single tank, so all they have to do is technically just get rid of that shield and that leads everyone else open. But with Destructive Dude on the... Already getting a pick off a tree, playing the Tracer. Probably surprising everybody else, doing a very good job, but he gets... Uh, Sam, right behind you, uh, there is a trapped Destructive Dude, but unable to do everyone as they are able to pincer move into everyone on Walmy maybe, and as you said, called it before it even happened. Uh, they're just going to be pushing. Yeah, man. I mean, this Bastion strat is so so hard to deal with, especially the first point, because, yeah, you can you can run in and kill the Bastion, but you're you're probably going to wipe. You might get two or three more picks. There's a small chance you might win the whole entire team fight, but, like, you know, spawn advantage is so massive in the favor of the offense that you, you're not going to get back in time to do anything meaningful. Scotch attempts to, along with Batmel and Phoenix Blaze. Two healers in the tank is not going to do much. You're going to be able to hold the point for a little bit. Scotch has slept. Big purple nade finds two very important people on the defense here. While me maybe not looking too hot after that, Batmel, the sole contester's blab gets there with him. And the, the the defense, I mean, they have a chance, not going to work. Let me know the Ben out, Vlad, dead, and now uh, Sam, the last one to follow suit here. And the first point's capped. Yeah, definitely finding uh, a hard footing for the first point of uh, Junker Town. Having to, especially if you're playing a Ryan Zardy, who have to know where you're going to want to engage, as it, you are the defending team, you have the option and you have the freedom to choose where you want the fight to start. Ooh. Uh, ooh, and a big pulse bomb coming on to Phoenix Blaze. That is one less healer. And although they're both going double main healer, uh, we're going to be seeing a tire coming out of trees. Get someone taking out Destructive, unable to recall in time. Yeah, you got revenge. Good job, on. And ults, uh, two ults being used. Batmel using that command now just to try to uh, reset the point. Evo Light still staying on there, but oh, great pick by TV Junkie, making sure that he is clicking the heads. Uh, they're gonna be coming out. Evo Light using the ult and nano boost. Out so easily, Ooh, the healers. Everyone should be able to go out after that. Uh, Zeus able to just continue on. If that is not play of the game, I don't know what is because that is just way too skewed for the stats. Man, and that is such a modest use of ults coming out of Mad Cow Disease right now. They they had a massive ult advantage uh, from the attack, which is not really common to see. Um, but they were able to just just do so much damage and, and cap the cart. Uh, on that first point so easily and so quickly that they had a lot of ult charge and hey, okay, Destructive uses Pulse Bomb, he's at 50. Evil Light used his tank with the Nano Kazuki and then they cap point after that. TV used his sights, you know, and now, and now now they're here where they're at with the ults and they were just very conservative with their ult usage that they all got from that first point. Good play from and that cow. They're able to continue on with this knowing that they can play with that triple DPS line. Uh, an ult coming out, I think they'll be able to actually hold on to it. Uh, the nano not coming out yet. Kazuki being still waiting for it, but the big nade being not able to keep everyone up as they're going to continue on. A big slam, but getting taken out, crystallized. Doing a great job. Destructive to getting a good pulse bomb, but not going to be very effective as he is the only one left in the back lines. So we'll see if he can just try to stay alive for a little bit longer. Uh, just going to be a terror of Battlefield. Let's we'll see if he can go back to safety as you know, the fight is finally going to be able to reset. Man, and Destructive is really showing that he can play this Tracer really well here. He's found a picks uh, for the most part all over the place. I believe he, he was able to pick Scotch that kind of opened up a little bit of that push at the end. Um, not necessarily a very successful pick, but very good nonetheless. And he found... Um, I don't know, someone at the end of that. And he's in the back line right now shooting people. It's what he does. Destructive's really good at that. And a good tire from Tree. 
on the defense. Well, maybe he has a chance here. His tree is jumping on the card, throwing landmines. Sam is right there with him. And, uh, yeah, they're fragging. Yeah, I think we're finally seeing Wami maybe get their footing on this final point. But Evo Light coming in with three or two kills. That is for D Mac. I mean, and they're able to stay out of this position. Uh, we're gonna see the death of Scotch Ooh. as he's the only one there, and they are Holy staggering fun, themselves, trying to get that the pick. They only have three people in there, but they just went in one at a time, not knowing what to really do. As they're going to be able to get uh, a free get third there. point as they continue on. Like, this is a nano boosted Bastion ult. Yeah, this is a big, awesome big touch. Time. There's the Dookie Beast getting shattered on top of the card. What does it matter? Because they're going to be able to do this. Wow. You know, I feel like God has forsaken me and Walmy maybe in this. I don't think they're going to win anymore. I'm. Dude, I'm, you can't turn on him that hard. I, Come on. Three. I, I just I just can't do it. It's it's just I just maybe I maybe this is my long game. Maybe I'm putting the caster curse back on you to Mad Cow. You this tag. Is, I am putting the caster cow curse on to Mad Cow Disease. If I say they're gonna win, they're gonna lose, and I'm playing the long game here, huh? Oh my god. Okay, well I think Walmy maybe is gonna be able to push this. Yeah, there's two minutes and forty three seconds for Mad Cow Disease, but you know what? Uh, well, I mean, maybe we could do just that. And that defense is really dicey. You know, when you were talking about uh, the the Ivalite picks on on that hallway, I don't, I didn't even see a lot of that. I really wish I just internalized Ivalite to see what he was shooting at. Because, yeah, it sounded like they just lined up and they were knocked down, and th that was a very, 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 very bad time. And Walmy maybe's uh, what, career what happened on, was, <laughs> on week six. What happened six. was uh, Scotch missed the charge onto the Bastion. They had he had two supports with him, and so Evil Light was just able to mow him down. And then it was Sam and Phoenix Blaze, the only two left, trying to still contest it, and they got taken out because it's a Bastion with two supports. That's is incoming in that is uh, that is a big threat right there. Yeah, I. I don't know. Well, I mean, Walmy maybe has to do the Bastion strat, right? Like that's like I, like I said before, it's just what works. It's really hard to combat it. There's there's things you can do, yeah. And it looks like uh, Mad Cow Disease is doing those things. They have the Anna for the possible sleep, and the Nade under the shield that's going to be on the cart. They have TV Junkie on the hack. Uh, should there be a Reinhardt? Yeah, they're doing all the right things. Expecting a Bastion right now. Mad Cow Disease is. And the fight is commencing here as they're trying to get a curly pick out. Destructive Dude is showing. Oh my god. And Sam is able to get on the cart. Destructive is not finding anyone. Neither is TV Junkie. They're waiting for him to stay set up, I guess, or something. And Sam is able to shoot. That's a that's not a good shield. It's not really protecting Sam. And Sam does die here before, uh, or sorry, after Tree and Phoenix Blaze. And that's a dead push out the gate. That's, that's the, that's it. Them's the breaks. It's going to be hard getting Bastion on the cart now. But don't fret here. anyone in chat as and our mighty viewers. Right Lift up your hands, raise your waifus. Give your energy over to Walmy maybe because they need it right now as they get out of this spawn. Keep channeling, keep channeling, keep channeling. Just like the dude in the back line throws a pulse bomb does not find anyone. Nobody home. So TV Chunky is back there with him, and it's a very it's a very strange thing. I mean, we're seeing destructive on this DPS. They're they're doing solo tank on the defense here, and it's working as far as I can tell for now. Crystallize that soul tank. He's charging at the point from the flank, not doing much. Evil Light finding a pick on Sam, and uh, yeah, I mean they abandoned. Well, we maybe abandoned the Bastion strat a while ago. You know, they have by a while ago. I mean after the first push, they have Sam now on Soldier and Sebastian. And uh, pretty standard comp here, and they're not getting anywhere with it. Yeah, and they ha Mad Cow Disease has the ult advantage. Scotch gonna be having his hammer down pretty soon, but uh, more massive. Swaps. More There's swaps. gonna be an EMP coming out of TV, so he's gonna be able to do some great work uh, to stop any sort of aggression coming out. Uh, is very low. Another missed 
and Sam dies to crystallizes uh, charged ult here. Wami maybe is looking a little bit better this fight, but not necessarily good enough. Crystallize and Blab fighting on the point with Batmel in the back line trying to heal Bulabur, but she ends up dying as well. Crystallize still living. Destructive Dude still live on that Tracer as well. And TV is TV too. So, so Destructive Dude is one of the last guys they have to kill to get some serious pushing here. Yeah, Evelite's playing Widow. He's able to do some stuff. Hulkatoon on Brigida on the point right now. Just, oh man, a lot of people that need to get picked. I thought that was for sure one by Wombie maybe. Pulse bomb, big, Sam, dead, evil eye dead to tree as well. That is not standard. Fairs don't kill snipers. What? I don't know how to cast this anymore, you tech. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Alright, well, hey, uh Dear 3D, come back from the dead and help me cast this. Betrayed me. I'm back. You said. Damn it. Oh, the betrayer's back. Okay, 30, tell me what's going on. Cast some shit, because I'm so confused right now. Huggleton's on the point. Destructive Dude's also on the point. Trying to cast with a good Evelite. Doing all sorts of spam, making sure that everyone is taking pressure on the cart. And the cap's going to go to Walmy, maybe. <laughs> wow. Yeah. What's happening? Yeah, so. It uh, looks like, you know, uh, teams, Mac out disease. Uh, we're running like a three DPS on Junkertown defense, which actually y you've seen before. Uh, I mean, pro play, they've actually run like a solo support on Junkertown defense. It's because you don't really need to stick together. You can really be all over the place. So they're just playing it really spread, really guerrilla warfare tactics. And the Sombra was really holding them up close. Um, Man, yeah, Evelite gets picked out the, out the gate here. Again, tree killing Evelite. Fair killing sniper, that's normal. Not normal. Uh, rally's coming out for both sides as the brawl commences at the point. This is a slugfest. All sorts of damage going on on both sides of the team. I don't even know who's hitting who. Sleek goes on to the Scotch Big Mad Monkey here. Finally, TV Junkie falls. Finally, Scotch's Big Monkey falls. And uh, fight continues here. Wami maybe not looking too hot. Blab getting charged while the shield is on. Crystallizing the front line without a shield up. Falls. Not good for the defense here. Mad Cow Disease kind of doesn't have a, a lot to stand on except for the corners here. Blab does get rested at the end as five people are up on Wami maybe with Scotch coming in at the at the end here. TV Junkie Cloak getting on the point with a massive EMP. Destructive Dude is there to capitalize it. Evil Light dying, not necessarily dealing a lot of damage. Tree dies as soon as EMP is as well. Yeah, Wombie maybe yeah, looking very, very hot for this fight here. Scotch does fall in a massive Earth Shatter from Crystallize. That's going to find all sorts of people. There's enough damage to be there for it. Blab, Batmel uh, dies. Tree dies. Blab dies because he should die because that was an atrocious grab time that he just popped. And the defense holds. Mad Cow Disease. 30, is there anything? Is there anything I missed? No, you, you, got, you said it all. <laughs> oh, um, dear God. Yeah, I mean, it, the whole fight here around the bend... Uh, well, maybe we started off with the Primal Rage. Sort of the weird ult to use there to start it off. They had the grab, the grab they had the barrage. Uh, just needed to be used there. Honestly, they don't have Transcendence, they don't have Sound Barrier. But, Mac out disease, they make the mistake a little bit of their own. I mean, that EMP, while it was good, there wasn't any follow-up, and their DPS go down immediately after. But unfortunately, well, they need to come back with some not good ultimates, and the next yeah. fight has started. This is it. Crystallize gets in their grill, and all sorts of members of Walmy maybe are dying here. And this, I mean, this fight's dead before I can even start commentating on it. Tree, one of the last members surviving uh, of the team, and he does eventually die to destructive dude. And yeah, man, I mean, if you EMP without follow up, you're not gonna, you're not gonna like it. And that's what, kind of what happened two fights prior. Yeah, they just, well, maybe they're just not using the right ultimates at the right time. It, none, none of those ultimates were, were used well there um, on their last attack. I mean, obviously, they didn't get a chance to in this last short <laughs> engagement. And Mad Cup Disease, they used oh! three there. Oh! 30 seconds. Tree, Unfortunate. Don't get like that. Well, it's yeah. Fine. That there. Yeah. Oh, nice. I mean, if we're still in the one fight territory, so he probably would have been back in time hey, anyway, still, but. Missed. Give a little bit of a buffer here. Batmel popping the Valkyrie early. Destructive dude. He's still in this backline. Still in this tracer. And now they're just gunning for Sam. Oh, big Evelite alt here. Finding the two airborne folk. And that's just it. Yeah, TV Junkie with cleanup crew. And that's, uh, that's Team White with five seconds to spare. That's 2-1 that's in favor of Mad Cow Disease for overall series of the night. Victory. We didn't, yeah. raise, our, we didn't raise our wall me maybes enough. No, we didn't raise our walls <laughs> high enough. Um, but even game. late, in the play of the oh, game here. Uh, that Bastion. That Bastion. What kind of left click extravaganza <laughs> do we have here? Oh, no, no, it's a, it's a nano tank, which 
you don't see a lot, but it's fun. Look at that. Like, one-shotting squishies, two-shotting tanks. That was fun. Yeah, kaboom. Everyone's dead. And, uh, yeah. Mag Cow Disease looks very clean for uh, attack and defense of Junkertown, leading them to the 2-1 victory for the series. And, uh, yeah. I mean, I don't know what else to say. I'm, you know, Utech left me. I brought... 30 back from the dead to cast with me and uh this has been a wild ride man it has well I mean maybe getting the win I don't know where they go from here I, I don't know if no wonder unbenches himself but I mean this, honestly the last two spots in this league it anyone's up for it like who knows user joined your channel yeah man I agree oh is you take back I am back. Hey. Oh, well, game's over, and uh, <laughs> we're miss? about to close out. <laughs> um, Mad Cow Disease methodically closing out on Street Space. Joker down. Yep. So, hey, I think that uh, concludes our broadcast, broadcast for the night. Glad y'all watched, and, uh, you know, tune in next week, and stay woke. <laughs>